these numbers, like the numbers don't lie, guys. These numbers, these are rampant numbers. Like these numbers are crazy numbers, especially when it comes to the youth. I mean, we're talking about 3.3 million where I was like, ouch, like these numbers are high. I mean, major depression, like anxiety, like some of the most common disorders are touching more than 10 million Americans at any given time. Schizophrenia, right? Percent of U.S. adults with schizophrenia. It's about less than 1%. Number of U.S. adults with schizophrenia. The number is a little less than 1.5 million. I was a little shocked by that statistic as well. Suicidal thoughts. Percent of U.S. adults with suicidal thoughts. 4%. Number of U.S. adults with suicidal thoughts. 9.8 million. I was like, wow, 10 million people, suicidal thoughts. This is the reason why I chose to be so, so adamant about this topic, God over culture, therapy, and trauma, because this is not something that we really hear the church talk about, but based on what statistics say, this stuff is running rampant in our culture, right? Rampant in our communities, rampant in our, in our country. People are experiencing pain, anxiety, depression, right? Uh, I mean, there are some statistics that Demetrius went over, and most adults that are experiencing PTSD, major depression, schizophrenia, they don't even have the health insurance to get any coverage for this stuff, right? So this is the reason why we're kind of talking about this, because society says that Oh, you know, you just need to go to the doctor and you might just need to get a prescription. You know, a script will take care of it. Or you might just need to go talk to somebody for a little while and then you'll be done with it. But this is the reason why I keep stressing like Jesus plus therapy. Like these numbers, like the numbers don't lie, guys. These numbers, these are rampant numbers. Like these numbers are crazy numbers, especially when it comes to the youth. I mean, we're talking about 3.3 million where I was like, ouch, like these numbers are high. I mean, major depression, like anxiety, like some of the most common disorders are touching more than 10 million Americans at any given time. This is something that not only do we need to pray for people about, but we need to start talking more about as the church. Like we need to start saying, like, hey, God cares about your mental health. Like the Bible does talk about what you should meditate on. And if all you're doing is meditating on your bills and like, when you can find a better job or how much money you make or how big your house is like you're meditating on the wrong thing friends like this is the reason why these numbers are the way they are i'm not saying these numbers are as high as they are because people have goals no of course not i'm saying because they're meditating on these things and instead of them turning these things into just simple goals that they want to accomplish it's like oh my life's over because i don't have a big house my life's over because i don't have that car i'm a nobody because of the type of job i have like i can't give or tithe or do anything because i don't make enough money like all of that stuff is a lie like, yes, budgeting should be happening. You should be being smart with your finances. So giving is not something that's hurting you because it shouldn't hurt. But it will hurt if you don't have a budget. It will hurt if you're not doing the right thing with your money, right? 
But when we look at these statistics of depression, anxiety, PTSD, schizophrenia, I mean, just looking at these statistics, I was just like, ouch. Like, this stuff was like really hurtful when I sat down and I went over these things with my wife. So I encourage you guys to pray for people who you know are struggling with any mental illnesses. I really wanted to bring this video to you guys so you guys could see that these numbers, these statistics are staggering. My next video will be about the prevalence of these conditions within specific populations, within specific communities. And I mean, wow, when you, you think this was crazy, when you see those numbers, you're going to be like, wow, this is this is pretty hurtful. At the end of the day, like, is there any underlying racism within this? No, I just think these are statistics. But do I think any of this is backed by any type of systemic racism or oppression within all types of communities? Of course, mainly the black community and the Hispanic community. Black and brown people, right? I mean, like when I start reading you guys the statistics in the populations, it, it's pretty prevalent. Like when I saw the numbers there, I was kind of like ouch to a lot of that stuff as well. So this is stuff that we need to start praying about more. We need to start talking about. We don't need to be quiet about, just like racism. The church should be taking a stance on these subjects. And it should not only be up to doctors and the government. God has something to say about these things. So we need to be bold and we need to talk about these things. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I love talking about therapy and trauma, like being transparent about my own experiences, telling you guys how helpful it is. Like it's actually been helpful for me because now I've realized even more than ever, like it is a responsibility of a healthy Christian that has been to therapy and has dealt with some things to tell other people like go to therapy. Like if you're dealing with stuff, you don't know what to do. You're thinking about weird thoughts, suicidal thoughts, hurting yourself. Like you're struggling with something. Something doesn't seem right. Go to therapy. It's okay to go to therapy. These numbers right here, these statistics show us that a lot of people are not doing anything about the things that they're suffering through. They're just going through them. And based on some of Demetrius' video, we already know people don't have the insurance to necessarily get the help that they need so that they don't have to deal with these things and they can have some type of comfort. Not just from, you know, oh, I'm going to go get a pill. Like, of course... God gives a person comfort when they come to them. But what am I saying, guys? Jesus plus therapy, right? Jesus plus whatever medicine the doctor tells you to take. Am I saying you have to take that medicine forever? No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that just because you believe in God, don't let somebody tell you, oh, throw your medicine down the drain. No, of course not. Jesus plus whatever your doctors are asking you to do. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. My next video is going to be still about the same type of uh, mental health conditions, but we're going to talk about prevalence within specific cultures and populations. And it's going to be good, guys. So stay tuned. Share this video with someone who you know might be suffering with massive depression, PTSD, uh, maybe bipolar disorder, or someone who you know just struggles with anxiety. Like For a lot of years, I struggled with anxiety really, really bad. So share this video with someone who you know will help them. So I'll be back, guys. What do I always say? Love yourselves, love one another, but most of all, love God. Peace.